Did you know that Disney Plus has a movie exclusive that's actually worth watching? It was news to me. I'm referring to the newest Disney animated film, Luca. I have no idea where this movie came from. It just showed up one day. I didn't see a trailer, I didn't see a poster. It's just crazy how movies work these days. You know, typically I'm used to the like three years of buildup before a movie comes out. Any movie, really. Now, Disney had another one that came out a few months back called Soul. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't, I wasn't too keen on that one. Wasn't, wasn't the biggest fan of Soul. It just, something about it, something about it didn't work for me. Luca, believe it or not, is the titular character of this film voiced by Jacob Tremblay. His best friend is Alberto. He meets him pretty early on in the picture. And this, this movie is really about the relationship between these two, how it's similar, how they're different from one another, and really how they just trust and look out for each other as the movie progresses. It's a beautiful film with a beautiful storyline. Beautiful is not a word I use often. I've used it twice already. Now, this movie is not all Twizzlers and Hershey Kisses. It starts out, I'd say the first five, 10 minutes a little rough. I'm just watching thinking, dear God, this is gonna be a train wreck. Uh, I don't know these characters. I don't know what I'm in store for. It's kind of scary. You know, it's kind of scary to just plunge headfirst into an animated film without knowing the, the context or the, the, pl the basic plot. It worked in this favor here. Essentially, we have a sea monster family the, they don't go on land, it's, it's kind of forbidden in their community. Um, the humans hate sea monsters, as of course it goes, and they will stab them on sight. Luca's not happy though, being an underwater dweller, he's not fulfilled. His day-to-day -day is basically just being kind of a ranch hand for a bunch of fish that act more like sheep than underwater creatures. He wants to be where the people are, walking around on their, what do you call them? Oh yes, feet. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they play all day in the sun. Wandering free. He wish he could be part of their world. It did have a very familiar early premise that harkens back to The Little Mermaid. Thankfully that veers way off course about 15 minutes in. When it turns more into a kids being kids coming of age triathlon film where they have to compete in swimming, biking, and an eating contest in order to win a prize. The ultimate goal for Luca is to just not have to be underwater in his miserable existence, to be free, to, to be himself. And that's the, the message throughout this movie, is it's about acceptance, it's about owning who you are, and it's about trusting in others to do the right thing. Now for the pearl clutchers out there that might think, oh no, there's an agenda here, I saw the trailers, it's all about gay pride, it's not. You take what you will from it. I watched it with my whole family. My kids didn't think about that at all. And it doesn't matter if they did. Like it, it, It's so well done. I thought they executed it perfectly. I talked to my 12 year old afterwards about it actually. I thought, what did you think about Alberto? What did you think that relationship was between him and Luca? And she just thought they were really good friends. I got something completely different out of it. And that's probably why I was tearing up a couple times as the movie was closing out. If you saw the trailers, you know that Luca does in fact go on land along with Alberto. And as soon as they get out of the water and start to get kindish dry, they become humans. They get in the human form. If you even think about the semantics at all about this, it doesn't make a lick of sense. I mean, it, how much water does it take to become dry, you know? I mean, a little bit of water, to, can they drink water? Does that turn them into fish people? It, it's a little it's a little silly, it's a little out there, but it really doesn't matter. That's not what the message is. That's not the point of the film. Family friendly, all ages can watch and enjoy it. I just, yeah, I've, I don't have any negatives here. I could easily rewatch it. It's fun, it's, it's colorful, it looks beautiful. The animation style's really cool. The look is kind of claymation-ish, but not. I don't know how to describe it, but I'm impressed that animators are still finding ways to come up with unique ways to showcase something we've seen so many times. I think this is easily better than the ultra disappointing Raya and the Last Dragon. I think this is better than Soul. I think this is the best Disney animated film Disney Plus has offered so far, and I would definitely check it out. I'm giving Luca a solid 8 out of 10 gay pride flags. Thanks for watching the video. If you had a good time, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. There's plenty of other stuff on the channel. If you really like what I'm doing, you can head on over to patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies, throw me a dollar or two. You can also join right here via the YouTube membership. 
plenty of options. I'm on TikTok, I'm on Instagram. I'm gonna start doing stuff there. So that, that's definitely a thing you could follow as well. Thanks again, see you soon.